the Angola Zulu War of 1879. What were the causes of the Angola Zulu War? The Anglo Zulu War was fought between the Zulu and the British in Natal. The war were fought in two phases. The first war was fought at Iswandranana on 22nd of January 1879. The second war was fought at Ulundi on the 4th of July 1879. The Zulu warriors were led by King Setewayo and the British were led by Sir Patri, Sir Bartley, Frele and the British were led by Sir Bartley, Frele but the army commander was Lord Charles Ford. So the causes of the anglo boer War were social, political, and economic in nature. The different causes contributed to the war of the Angulo and the Zulu. The need to revive the Zulu military strength by Setewaya caused the Anglo-Zulu War. This was worsened by the recruitment of a very big army, which worried the British at that time. The increased military training, war songs, slogans, also annoyed the British. By 1879, Setewaya had raised over 30,000 efficient warriors, which inspired him to fight the British. The failure of peaceful negotiation between Sir Bartley Frehley and then Setewaya over many issues also caused this war. Away of the two adulterous women in Tuneta and they were murdered by the Zulu youth, annoyed Sir Bartley Frehley. And this also caused the Anglo Zulu War. The British accused of the Zulu of murdering a Christian missionary, which caused the Anglo Zulu War also. The Zulu and Boers were involved in the border conflicts across the Blood River, which was claimed by both parties. The Blood River territory had been given to the Boers by Mpande. Many Zulu people had been displaced by the Boers and became landless, hence causing uh, this war. The, the cooperation between the British and the Boers on the issue of Blood River territory strengthened them to fight against the Zulu. There was mistreatment of Africans by the British in the Blood River Territory, hence causing the Angulo Zulu War. The Judicial Commission that uh, settled the conflicts gave more land to the Zulu, but Sir Battery Frehley nullified it, which resulted into the bitter conflicts and war. Hence, broke out. Uh, the Zulu fought the British due to the overtaxation, harsh uh, methods of collection of the taxes in their territory, uh, thus causing the Angulo. Uh, Zulu War uh, of 1879. The mistreatment of the Zulu by the British through public flogging, murder and imprisonment have caused more conflicts. Hence causing this war, the Zulu hated the increasing number of the British settlers which caused land conflicts in Natal. Hence causing this war, the grabbing of the Zulu land by the British settlers annoyed the Zulu so so much. Hence causing this war, the British never respected African leaders which forced the Zulu to fight for the protecting of their independence. The British determination to control the whole South Africa inspired the Zulu militarily. Uh, the rise of the British imperialism encouraged the Saba Trifreli to crush the Zulu state in trying to take over the whole of South Africa. So Saba Trifreli ordered Setewayo to disband the Zulu army completely which was uh, resisted by the king. Uh, Setewayo, which greatly annoyed Sabatri Frehley, hence causing the Angulo Zulu War. Setewayo's refusal to dis disarm and disband the edge regiments forced the British to fight him. The outbreak of famine among the Zulu forced them to raid the British farms for food, hence causing this war. The war missionaries undermined African culture, values, and unity, which caused wars. The early victory of the Zulu and on the 22nd of Jan 1879 encouraged Setewaya to fight the British. The British fought the Zulu because they had superior weapons like the guns and the British fought the Zulu because this was the period of scramble for Africa. The Zulu had mistaken all the whites for Mulungu meaning sea monsters and then devils uh, which you know the, 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 the British hence also the Zulu fighting of the Mulungu people in trying to send them away from their land hence causing the Anglo-Zulu war the continued cataracts between the Zulu and the British resulted into the Anglo-Zulu wars uh, in a nutshell the outbreak of the Anglo-Zulu war of 1879 was greatly influenced by the increasing military strength of the Zulu during the reign of King Setewayo
effects of the Anglo-Zulu Wars of 1879. Anglo-Zulu Wars affected the Zulu both positively and negatively, as explained below. Effects of the Anglo-Zulu War of 1879. The Anglo-Zulu War affected Zulu people both positively and negatively. The wars led to defeat of the Zulu at the Battle of Lindi in July 1879. Many people were displaced due to insecurity in order to save their lives. Uh, the Anglo-Zulu Wars led to the death of many Africans, uh, both Africans and the British. Both the Zulu warriors and the British forces were killed at that, uh, the Battle of Iswandalang and Ulindi. The, the wars partly led to the population of the Zulu land. A lot of property was destroyed. The British became more powerful and started interfering in the politics of the Zulu people. So the royal king of the Zulu was captured and deported to London in 1879. Though he was allowed to return to Zulu land in 1884, he was unpopular and ignored by his people. Later, Setewayo took refugee at Uthewa Reserve from where he died. The British installed Dini Zulu, who became a puppet king from 1884 to 1887. The Zulu kingdom was divided into 13 administrative units by the British, each under a chief appointed by the British, Iggy John Dunu, uh, was a British Zulu chief. Uh, the wars led to the decline of economic activities like agriculture within the Zulu area. Even trade declined and uh, war led to suffering and misery of the Zulu people around that time. There was la the wars led to loss of land of the Zulu people and the whites took over it led to the establishment of the Rasval. Igidin Zulu gave three million acres of land. The wars led to loss of land by the Zulu to the whites in Transvaal. For example, Dinu Zulu gave three million acres of land to Transvaal government for supporting him to the throne. The wars led to the loss of political independence by the Zulu to the British. And the Zulu lost a lot of cut of the British troops as they fled their homes to peaceful places. The Zulu Wars of 1879 sowed the seeds for future nationalism. For example, the Bambata Rebellion of 1906 and the formation of Inkatha movement by Gatisha Buthelezi. The Zulu Wars of 1879 sowed seeds of future nationalism. For example, the Bambata Rebellion of 1906 and the formation of the Ikatha movement by Gathisha Bothelezi which decampaigned the apartheid and pressed for the independence of South Africa. The wars further worsened the relationship between the Zulu and the whites, even other Africans who hated the Zulu due to Shaka's wars supported the British against the Zulu. The Zulu were enslaved on white mines farms industries mines in order to make ends meet. Zuland was finally annexed by the British in 1887 and it became part of the British colony uh, of Natal in, 18, in 1897. So all Anglo-Zulu wars, Anglo wars created disunity, insecurity, political disorder which greatly weakened the Zulu kingdom at that time.